Hey everyone and welcome back. Godot is constantly gaining momentum and this week I found tutorials showing you how to quickly export your game to itch.io which is great for game jams. How to set up a CCTV camera system, how to make a drag and drop system, how to make a seamless 3D crouch and crawl system and a great code along tutorial on making a 3D horror game in Godot 4. Let's get straight into it. Game, game Dev, Dev Journey, journey. We all know Godot is great for game jams and the ultimate platform for jams is itch.io. So you've finished your entry and you want to upload it to itch. What's the process? IC Skill has a video out explaining just how fast and easy it is to export your project from Godot to itch. This is IC Skill's first Godot tutorial video and I hope that there will be many more to come. With some support and encouragement, I'm sure that there will be. So head over there and subscribe now to make it happen. I am often amazed at just how quickly and easily things can be done in Godot 4. And I was surprised again when I watched Ring's tutorial on how to create a simple CCTV style in-game display in 3D. The tutorial is straight to the point and does not waste your time. So if this is something you want in your game, you'll be very happy. This too is Ring's first tutorial for Godot, which goes to show just how many new developers are trying out Godot 4 and embracing the spirit of the Godot community by sharing what they've learned with all of us. Let's support new Godot creators by leaving a comment on their videos. If you're making an idle game or an RPG or some kind of game which needs an inventory system for inventory management, then you'll want to know how to make a customizable drag and drop system in Godot 4. Pixie Earl has a video out showing just how this is done and again, this is accomplished really quickly. Godot for the win! Pixie Earl is another new Godot 4 developer sharing what they've learned with us, so please show your support and head over to their channel now. Maybe you're making an FPS game and you want your character to be able to crouch and crawl, but how do you implement this? Fear not, because Fantasy Dev is here to help you. What a wonderful tutorial they've put out, demonstrating just how to do these things in only 12 minutes. Fantasy Dev has actually made a number of really great Godot tutorials, and it would be really worth your time to check out the videos on his channel. It's an amazing resource and certainly deserving of your subscription. Finepoint CGI has long been one of the best tutorial makers for Godot and has a reputation for making quality content. His latest code along series is for Godot 4 and the goal is to create a horror game in 3D. These tutorials are highly educational and thorough and you'll learn a great deal. I can highly recommend following this series from beginning to end. That's all for this week. Thanks for joining me and I hope to see you all again next time. Thank you.